Hi Gary at ATV Tracks. I'm going to show you a quick uh, video on how to install the angle of attack on a UTV or an ATV. Basically the angle of attack is how high the front end is. It's measured by how high the rear top of the rear bogey wheel is to the ground. We always do this on cardboard. The reason is when you lift it up, the cardboard moves. When you push it down, the cardboard moves back. If you don't do this, then all the track stays on the cement and your adjustments, all they do is compress the rubber. Uh, I'll show you here, if you watch on a UTV, it's supposed to be 12 inches plus or minus a quarter of an inch from the top of the bogey wheel to the ground. So right now, I'm at 12. If we raise the front, we're at 12. If we lower the front, push way down, we can go as high as 14 or 15. So when you adjust that torsion arm, as you raise the front, do it again, it'll go down to 12. This is what we want. So I'll show you a secret on how to do it pretty easy. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push the track all the way down. Now. If I look at this here, it's at 13 inches. I'm going to go to a jack, and I'm going to slowly jack it up until I get it to 12 inches. It doesn't hurt to go a little bit less because it will sag a little bit. Now, I know that's about where I want to start. Now. I'm going to re-verify on the inside. Right now, it's slipped, so it's at 10. Wrong way, got to jack it up. Keep going. Okay, now we're at 12 again. Now, I'm at 12, it's jacked up. This torsion arm is loose. The only thing you can adjust is this tie rod end. I want this to fit on this here. If it was way short, I would have to push down on it to make it connect. If it were way long, I'd have to lift it up. I'm going to just get it to where it's straight up and down. Now, I'll put a bushing on. I'll slide this in there. And I'll give it a little bit more distance here. I'll put the other bushing on with the washer and a nut. I'll give it a couple turns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this up. Now, I'm going to remove the jack. Now, what I want to do is this rubber right here, this, this swivel here was not tight, these bolts here. This rubber here, if I lift up and down, it should be just touching the rubber. It shouldn't be squeezing the rubber. Now, if I measure it again, I'm at 12 and a half, a little high. So I'm going to have to raise the front a little bit. So I'm going to take a wrench. This nut here, you, you, you can do two things. Sometimes you can use this nut. It's probably not recommended. But as you can see, it's tightening. It's, go, it's tightening it. Bring it down. I want to go the other way. I want to bring it up. If this nut loosens up, you'll see as I do this, I'm at 12 and a half still. I got to go out, raise the front up. So I'm going to keep going. Make it longer. Now 
Now, what happens a lot of times is people say, well, it doesn't move. I'm still at 12 and a half. That's because I'm compressing the rubber. Now, I'm going to lift it up. Lift it up a little bit more. There. Now, it's all, now the rubber's not compressed. It's touching right there. Now, I'll measure again. I'm at 12 and an eighth, which is plenty within, so with this, I'll give it just a, a couple more turns. Then I want to stop with this towards the inside for my steering limiter. Now this bolt's tight. This one here should never loose. It's always torqued to 30 pounds. Now I adjust the pivoters. This makes sure that the rubber is square on, on to the product. Um, I'm going to tighten that up. Good and tight, so it doesn't move. Now I'm going to go back out. I'm going to lift it up. Make sure the cardboard moves. I'm going to push down just a little bit. I'm going to go back and measure to make sure I'm approximately 12 inches. Which is exact, 12 inches. Done. I've just taken care of the angle of attack. You do this to the other side and you're done. You always do the angle of attack before you do the steering limiter adjustment. Hi Gary at ATV Tracks. Thank you for watching our video. Phone number 866-243-8359. Local number 509-590-4653. We also have YouTube channel atvtracks.net which we're working on if you don't get the videos utvtracks.com on YouTube channel is better segregated as far as maintenance and repairs. We have two websites now, uh, atvtracks.net, utvtracks.com. Uh, give us a call. If you have any questions about tracks, please call us. We are the most knowledgeable in the United States. Turn your UTV or ATV into a real all-season all-terrain vehicle. Increased flotation, amazing traction, and durability allow your UTV or ATV to handle the most difficult of terrains. Before you invest in a track system, ATVTracks.net has been in business since 1994 and have performance tested every track available. At work or at play, ATVTracks.net can help you make the best decision for your specific needs. The only company to provide four styles of all-season tracks, we realize the importance of selection. ATVTracks.net was created to supply riders with superior tracks to help them get the most out of their all-terrain vehicles. Our friendly professionals at ATVTracks.net have become well acquainted with numerous models on the market, and we know how they perform. We offer the best. Price, selection, and service. For the best tracks for your all-terrain vehicle, look no further than ATVTracks.net.